the other day after Dallas, Kai Car France fought, and uh, I ran into the champ, and I had a conversation with him, and he walked up to me and he said, "DC, I, I spent some time with George St. Pierre in Canada." He goes in. At times as the champion of the world, you can be very uh, alone. He goes, so talking to guys like you and, and George, you kind of get to people that understand it. He goes, but I promise you, this one is going to be so different. And I knew in that conversation that he was knowing that the fight was coming. So he was setting his mind to beat a guy that's beaten him twice. But he said something very key in that snippet, RC. He said, I'm finally going to get a guy that attacks me. You and I both know Edesanya is a mm -hmm. masterful counter striker. Is Pajeda going to play into his game by just attacking him? Or do you take much from the kickboxing fight? Because as I break it down, I really don't know. I don't know what to expect. But I do feel like we well, finally think, got a guy that can match Izzy on his terms. Yeah, and I, I think that's the excitement of the fight. The most telling thing that he said to me in the clip was, am I going to get knocked out or is he going to get knocked out? I've listened to Israel Adesanya do a lot of press. I've listened to him talk a ton of times. Never have I heard him even question if it was a possibility of him getting knocked out. You really mm -hmm. never heard him even talk about a negative going into a fight that he could even lose. That's the reality of fighting Alex Pereira, that it can happen that this can be something we see. And Israel Adesanya knows that already. And I believe that if you're Alex, you are going to press. You are going to attack. Because what about your two previous meetings with Israel Adesanya says that your approach is wrong, right? Everybody yes. else in the UFC watches and studies him and says, you know what? You can't attack him because he's such an electric counter striker. That doesn't pertain to Alex because he's been inside a ring with him. It will be an octagon this time, and it worked out. So this is going to be exciting. DC, do you see this fight from a strategic standpoint, either of these guys having to change who they are to win? I got to say this. You're getting good. <laughs> you're, you're getting good, <laughs> RC. Because I, 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 I seriously, I took the counter-strike and approach. I didn't realize him going, maybe I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> you don't hear mm -hmm. Israel Adesanya be that transparent. Yeah. You don't hear that from most champions being that transparent. Mm, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, yeah. That's a good point. Good job, Ryan. And you know, and I think God, that. Look at this guy. And, and doesn't that? And, and for for you though, DC, after seeing Israel Adesanya kind of get in that place that we saw jo George St. Pierre for a time, we saw Anderson Silva. Well, they're they're such these dominant champions, but when they have fights and they're not explosive or they're not knocking people out. You start to get booed or people start to get a little bored with them. Bored. When, mm -hmm. what is your level of excitement to see Israel Adesanya in a real fight again? Probably like yeah. we haven't seen since uh, Kelvin Gastelum. You know, exciting. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about the prospects of him being in there with someone that can match him at his greatest skill. But the reality is this. Israel Adesanya is no longer a kickboxer. He is a full-on mixed martial artist. You could never become the world champion in the UFC without possessing a well-rounded skill set. Problem is, he's got some demons to deal with in regards to Fajeda that he generally doesn't have to deal with. He doesn't have to deal with guys owning victories over him. He doesn't have to deal with guys having the ability to stand and trade with him knowing that that they can beat him in those exchanges. But I do believe that Pajeda's willingness to go and try to recreate the magic that he had in kickboxing will put him in harm's way with mm. Adesanya. Because even in the second fight, Pajeda knocked him out. But it was a very yeah. competitive fight with Izzy having a lot of moments in that fight. Mm -hmm. Here's the difference. These guys are fighting with 10-ounce gloves. They have 4-ounce yeah. gloves now inside an octagon with people going absolutely crazy. This fight is suitable and most suited for a venue like Madison Square Garden for the yeah. annual UFC trip out to New York City to Big Apple. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.